Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to look at the Edan U50 Prime Edition. Now, this isn't a system we stock ourselves, and as a result, not a system we would necessarily recommend. But we have just received one into our office, so we thought we'd take the opportunity just to do a quick run through of the controls of the system and how to use it. If you have any questions, please just let us know and drop them in the comments below. To turn the system on, press the green power button on the top left hand side of the control panel. Just note there is also a main power switch on the back of the system, so you need to flick this to the line before starting the system up. This is ne next to the power socket. So to start an exam, we would hit the patient button to bring up our patient data input box. I've already got patient data in here, but normally this would appear blank and you just type in the patient details and when you're happy, select OK. Depending on what mode you're in or what transducer you've got connected, you want to hit probe and just make sure you've selected the most suitable preset for the scan you're doing. So you might want to choose an MSK preset depending on what scan I'm doing. Then click OK. I recommend doing this at the start of every ex exam just to make sure you're definitely in the right preset but your preset does appear on the top of the screen there. So now we can get scanning and we're in our 2D image now. So we have our overall gain here so we can adjust this twisting clockwise to increase the gain and anti-clockwise to decrease the gain. We have our mode selections here so that minute we're in B mode so just our normal 2D image, that's highlighted. I can put a colour box on. This will bring up our colour box, use the tracker ball to adjust the position, and I can hit set, and then use the tracker ball to adjust the size, and then set again, and readjust the position. One thing I would note with the colour, is on a lot of the presets it starts with a very low scale. With this low scale you'll get a lot of colour bleeding and artefact. So just adjust the PRF, increase that scale a little bit depending on what fl flow you're looking at obviously if you are looking at very low flow you might want to reduce the scale but a lot of the time you'll just need to increase that a little bit once you've done all your color and you're happy you can hit B and that will always take you back to your 2D image your pulse wave and continuous wave work the same so simply hit it to bring up your cursor you can adjust the cursor using the tracker ball you have an angle correction which you want to just line up with the direction of the flow. And once you're happy, hit the PW again to start the trace. And at the top you have your baseline, you can adjust, and your PRF to adjust the scale. Note your gain will still work in these modes, so I can adjust my gain to increase the gain of my PW Doppler trace. B will always take you back to your 2D image. CW so works the same, and M mode similar. So hit the M mode, that will bring up your cursor. You can adjust the cursor to make sure you're in line with what you want to watch. And at the bottom, you will see your trace. So in any of those modes, if you do want to save an image, you can hit freeze. And then if you want, use the tracker ball to scroll back to the right frame and then you can hit save image to save a still image or save cine to save a cine loop. Once you've done that, just hit freeze to start scanning again. The knob next to freeze will be your depth, so I can do it anti-clockwise to decrease my depth or clockwise to increase my depth. You also have a zoom feature on this button, so if I hit the button, click it in, I'll get a zoom box, I can adjust the size of this using the control knob there, put it in the right position using the tracker ball and then set to zoom in to that specific point. Again we can save that if we want and if we just want to go back to our normal image just hit the B to go back to your standard imaging. For measurements you have two options, freeze the image, hit caliper and I can do a generic measurement so adjust the cursor to where I want it, hit set, and then measure across, and you'll see the result up there. 
Alternately, I can do a labeled measurement. So I can hit the freeze, select measure, and you will get labeled measurements. Notice an MSK preset, we don't actually have any labeled measurements. But if, for example, I was to change the preset to thyroid, and now try to measure, you'll notice there's some labeled measurements in there. So I can select the one I want, do a measurement, and you'll notice that measurement has a label. B mode to start scanning. Just quickly, a few options across the top you might want to adjust. So first of all, you have your focus position. So you can move up and down. You can actually adjust and decrease your focus number. So I can make my focal zone just one area if I want and adjust the position. You also have your frequency. I recommend playing around with this to get the best image possible. So at the minute you can see in the top right, we're scanning at 14.8 with a little H which represents harmonics. So scanning harmonics, but we can adjust this. So if you want to get slightly more penetration, feel free to drop down the frequency. Alternatively, you do have some presets set into the system. So at the minute one detail, I can adjust to soft. So I'll give you a higher dynamic range for a slightly softer image, a more contrasty image, and a penetration images, which will just drop the frequency and the dynamic range slightly to get slightly more penetration. Again, feel free to play around with it. If you play around with all your settings and you get a bit lost, you can always just go probe and reselect your preset and it will reset all your settings to the default. You have your TGCs here, which will adjust the gain in the different fields. So if I move them to the right, that will adjust the gain in the near field and use the left, that will adjust the gain in the far field. Probably start with them on neutral to begin with and then play around with them as you're scanning. If you're happy with your scan and you think you've got everything you need, you can just hit the end exam button here. This was just a quick guide on how to use the EDAN U50 system. Once again, not a system we stock ourselves, but we did get one in, so we thought we'd create a video. If you have any questions, please do get in touch. There's a lot of stuff we haven't covered on this video. So any specific questions, just let us know and we can help you out with them.